All right, time to take a look at the wire crimping tool. Okay, look at all that. That's pretty cool. We got some instructions, pretty basic instructions, but it does say the correct color markings for the type A or type B, so that's nice. So we got a tester, we got the RJ45 plugs, we got strain relief, we got the crimper, and we've got the cutter. So we do have a ratcheting mechanism, which is great, so it's not gonna let go unless we hit that release. So if we have to, we can do that manually, or if we just squeeze all the way, and then it unlocks. We got a cutting blade. If we wanna just chop the wire off, we can do that. We got a stripping blade. We can put the wire in there and cut the jacket off, which essentially does the same thing as this guy. Then we got our six pin and our eight pin connector. So if you want to do ethernet or phone line, we can use either one of these. Let's see if that crimps down nice. It's got that tooth right there that'll lock everything down. And on the other side, we've got a blade. So this is great because what that means is we can use pass-through connectors. So normally, if you're gonna just use a regular ethernet RJ45 connector, you have to cut all the wires to be perfect so they fit just to the end of that plug and then crimp it down. With this one, you can actually pass the wires all the way through and it'll cut off everything that's remaining. So that's nice. So the way this is designed, you can just grab onto the end here to kind of open it up a little bit and stick your wire in and then pull it around a couple of times. So this is Cat6 wire, so it's got a little bit extra stuff in here. So we're gonna have to cut this little guard off and we can cut the pull string off. And so that leaves us with our four twisted pairs. So we're just going to untwist those. You can see I made this cable kind of short because I just want to make a little patch cable, but I already pulled the blue out a little bit. So that's going to make that pass through a lot nicer. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. You can see it's laid out the same way right here. So we got our orange with a white stripe, orange, white, orange. So this is going to go on the left, green, white, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Just got to kind of Work the wire a little bit to kind of straighten it out as much as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but the straighter you can get, the better off you are. And make sure that the colors are staying lined up. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So to make this a little bit more even, I'm just gonna cut this straight. We're gonna put the connector on so that the, the clip is on the bottom. I'm just gonna try to push that in. There we go. So this is what's nice about these push-through connectors is after you get it through, then you can double check and make sure everything's right. And it looks like we are. What's gonna happen when we crimp is that this is gonna punch in and it's gonna hold on to the jacket. We want that to be at least over the jacket and we want these to be sticking out the end. And I'll just cut these off. So now I can stick this in here. Now we crimp. Sometimes you'll have one that kind of sticks on but you just kind of wiggle it off. So yeah, that is one good connection. So now we can just do the other side. Now since I know I pulled some of this wire through, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper on this one. And that doesn't really happen if you're doing uh, longer runs. It's just because this is so short that the wire can slide through the jacket. Okay, so that is our little patch cable. Now, if you wanted to, you could use these, so you'd have to put this on the wire before you actually crimp those on. I never use these, I kind of hate them, but if you want to use these, you can. So this is the tester, and we use this to confirm that that cable is good. And that's pretty important if you're new to this, because quite often when you're starting out, you're gonna be making bad cables. Not a big deal. We do need a nine volt battery in order to power this. So on the top, we got a spot for an RJ45 or an RJ11, which would go around here so we can take this thing apart. If you want to, you could put this at another spot in the house and then you could use this to check a wire that's already in the house. These things do come in handy. But we are just gonna check this little jumper for right now. So all we're gonna do is turn this on. So I got a problem with number three and number five. Oh, let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so I just gave each one a couple more squeezes and now it's working. So you can see what it looks like. Every single one of these is showing a light. So this cable's good. So yeah, overall, it's a very nice kit.